So what's the deal with a Schaller licensed Floyd Rose? Is it just like another licensed Floyd Rose that's crap and made of zinc and not really good? There is a lot of confusion when it comes to Floyd Rose, Schaller, and the plethora of licensed systems out there. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why Schaller licensed trims are a little bit different. Now this is a really short video just for your understanding so you can watch the whole thing and go about your day. This is the X, let's go. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name's Nick. I'm a guitarist here on YouTube. Before we begin, I'd just like to ask if you like the content, please subscribe below. This helps me grow the channel and make more videos. Anyways, the Schaller licensed Floyd Rose. Now, when a lot of people hear licensed Floyd Rose, they think, ah! It's true, a lot of Floyds that carry that licensed under Floyd Rose parts stamp are indeed crap. They're usually made by a few different brands and put on their stock guitars that are generally a little bit cheaper. Take for instance, this Jackson licensed Floyd Rose that was on an old Randy Rhodes one. Maybe it was a Randy Rhodes two, I'm not sure. So over time, because these companies have been making these crappy trims, the nomenclature licensed Floyd Rose has come to signify a crappy product. But that isn't 100% true. So Schaller, a German company that actually makes the original Floyd Roses that are available today, uses the original Floyd Rose patent to make their very own licensed Floyd Rose. This is where it gets interesting. The Schaller brand, like the original Floyd Rose, uses the hardened steel on the base plate, the saddles, and the other components usually. But the trim still has the stamp licensed under Floyd Floyd Rose parts right under the fine tuning pegs or on the trim block in the bottom. Remember, these Schaller licensed trims are German made products that rival the original Floyd Roses that are made today. If I'm not mistaken, the original Floyd Roses and the Schaller licensed Floyd Roses are made in the same factory. Now with product rollout, I usually see the Schaller licensed trims on higher end guitars, about $1,000 and up. It's because these trims are made with the same hardened steel as the original Floyd Rose in the same factory by the same German company. So are Schaller licensed Floyd Roses crap like the other licensed products? Usually no. With Schaller licensed products, you usually get a product made with way better materials and also you have things like replaceable knife edges and components that will last. So the moral of the story is know who makes your licensed product and Schaller makes a good licensed version if you don't want to get an original Floyd Rose. You can see a lot of reviews online that show that the Schaller licensed products have lasted 10, 20, even 30 years on some of these guitars. All right guys, I hope this cleared things up in terms of the Schaller licensed trim. If you like the content, just subscribe below. I'd really appreciate it and I will see you next time.